hey y'all it's Brie here so I just decided to film and get ready with me makeup video just to show you guys the process that I go through when it comes to doing my makeup first I like to take a makeup cleansing wipe or a baby wipe and make sure that my skin is clean and clear and under control <laughs> so now I'm going to go in with my brow pencil and first I align underneath my brow just to structure my brow before I fill them in and clean them up if you are doing your eyebrows for the first time I always recommend concealing your brows first and then going in with the liner because it gives you some type of guidance when it comes to constructing your brows as far as the shape size and the length that you want I will put all the details for the products that I'm using in the description box below but now I'm going in to fill in my other brow and I don't like to fill them in too much because I hate when it looks too dark and just remember that your brows aren't identical twins I had to learn this so now I'm going to take my Maybelline fit me matte foundation in the shade color 338 and clean up my brows I don't like to use concealer anymore because it's always too dark or too light I can never find the perfect match for my skin so I just like to take my foundation and I feel that it is better um, when it comes to cleaning up the brows it's all about your own preference and oops I messed up my brows <laughs> so it's all about trial and error so just go back fill in your brows and just continue cleaning them up now I am about to apply the foundation I wet my beauty blender just so the foundation can go on nice and smoothly I usually put primer on but for some reason I forgot it I know that primer is a must, especially with my skin type. I have combination skin, so it's dry and oily, but it is mainly oily. So I make sure that I blend my foundation in um, under my neck, you know, make sure I get close to my hairline. I go under near my ears like near that area just where the neck part is so it can blend in um, but this foundation does a pretty good job at matching my skin tone so I don't have too much of a problem when it comes to making sure that it is blended in with my skin tone um, I love this foundation so much because I have oily skin like I mentioned so I make sure that I always get like matte foundations and also use a powder um, in the end dance break <laughs> Here comes my favorite part, lipstick. I am using Sarcastic Cosmetics created by gospel recording artist Shayna Wilson Williams. This is the shade Very Pretty and it is definitely very pretty. I love me a good red lip y'all and this one takes the cake. When I tell you, like I use this color all the time, literally all the time and it's a matte lip it goes on wet and it dries matte um, I just love it and this video doesn't do it any justice I will put her information in the description box below so you can go check out her makeup line and see what she has to offer for you and I always like to make sure my lips look nice and neat so I just take my concealer brush and my foundation and just clean up around the lip area now I am about to apply my eyeshadow so I'm going to take this morph palette I will leave the details in the description box below I am taking this gold color which is very pigmented this palette is very pigmented um, and place it on my eyelid I don't really do much shadow uh, when I put on makeup but when I do I just use very bold colors and just apply them to the lid I did spray my brush after I um, put some of the shadow on my brush because it helps bring out the color a little more um, I am no makeup professional Ooh, got in my eye <laughs> so yeah I am no makeup professional guys but this is just my um, routine when I do apply makeup So now I'm applying the under eye liner. I believe under eye liner too brings the look together besides, you know, like the lipstick and eyeshadow. But it just makes your eyes pop a little more. So I love to put on like under eye liner. Um, I don't put it on too often because I just don't like my eyes being dark underneath too much. But I love it when I do put it on because it just helps your eyes stand out way more. 
So now we are moving on to the most frustrating part of the process, which are the eyelashes. I don't usually apply eyelashes all the time when I do my makeup, but for the sake of this video, I decided to put them on. It's usually fairly easy for me to apply eyelashes, but I was using my phone camera, so it was kind of a struggle, but we getting it together, girl. Y'all, so I was really struggling with this lash and it just wouldn't cooperate with me. I just don't know why, but I was very adamant in getting the lashes on for the video. I usually use my big mirror when I put lashes on, which makes the process a little more easier. But I definitely wanted to show you guys what this would look like with lashes. Um, and I do believe lashes are one of those things that bring the look together as well because they are just um okay open up uh, open up uh, shut it down like a bag of open up open up up here up here cold as ice and cold love So now I am about to kill two birds with one stone. I am taking that same eyeshadow that I used and using it as my highlighter. Why spend extra money when you can just use the eyeshadow palette that you have to highlight your skin? I know I am not the only one that does this. Please let me know if you do this as well. So now I'm taking my black pencil and filling in my mole. I naturally have a mole on my right side, but it gets covered up by the makeup, so I have to fill it in. And I just put one on the left side under my eye just to go with the look. The look is now complete, y'all. I had to do my edges with got to be glue because that's all I had at the moment, so don't judge me. <laughs> And here's the lip color, Very Pretty by Sarcastic Cosmetics once again. Now the transformation is complete. <laughs> 